Canva has been given a makeover that they are calling Glow Up. Some of the changes are very subtle, while others are more dramatic and might take a little bit of time to get used to them. But no worries, I'm going to break everything down for you. My name is Kat. This is Canva Catterday. Let's get to it. The first thing you'll notice is the Canva homepage is a little bit different. They've cleaned it up quite a bit. You've got a much more clean look here at the very top. Your suggestions are now in just little icons and you've got a little bit more room here at the bottom. The left-hand sidebar has also been changed. You'll see all of your starred content at the very top and then all of your recent designs will be just below that. Project folder hasn't changed too much. They've added a new banner to the top. Templates, they've added some additional templates that they're calling work kits. And this is for different types of industries. So if you're in marketing, sales, human resources, or creative, they've created a whole new set of templates that you can use right here with all different styles for just about everything you would need for that specific industry. And then you've got photos, icons, creators you follow, and then your starred content as well. Your brand kit pretty much remains the same as it was before. And you now have a new permanent tab on the left-hand side for all of the apps that are within Canva. Probably the biggest change that happened is in the design window. So let's open a design. And here, big change right here, you'll notice that we've got the left-hand sidebar remains in place. And on the right, we have our design window. This is so you can quickly navigate through anything that you might need right here. There's two ways to collapse this. One is to click on the X and the other is to click anywhere within the design window itself. Once we're here, there's some changes as well. The left-hand side menu is now white instead of black. Some people like this, others not so much. It's going to be a matter of personal preference whether or not you like this new look. When you're in this left-hand sidebar, you'll notice that when you hover over any one of those, a few different things happen. One, as I hover, the menu expands. If I move my mouse though, the menu will collapse. I'm not clicking anything. I'm just hovering with the mouse. So I'm gonna hover over the icon and you'll see it expands. And when I go back the other way, it will collapse. In order to see the content and use that content, you'll just need to click on it and then the menu will stay in place. As you're clicking on any one of these side tabs, you'll notice that they light up to make it a little bit easier for you to see what you're working on. Everything else in the menu will stay grayed out. I actually like this feature a lot because it always reminds you exactly where you are. So once you click on any one of these other side tabs, you'll see it lights up while everything else that's there will stay grayed out. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky when it comes to this new white side menu is when you're working with lighter content. So if you have visibility issues or you just don't like the white background, this might be a little difficult. So let's just say I'm looking for some clouds. Look what happens. It's really hard to see some of these elements that are here because it's white on white. And I can't really tell what they are unless I actually add them to my design. There's a lot of people who don't actually like this feature because it makes it harder to see this content. I'm gonna share with you in just a little bit how you can change this back to a black sidebar so that you can easily see that content. Once you are in your design itself, you've got some new options here. If I click on any one of my elements, you'll notice the menu bar that used to be at the top has been changed. And now we have this floating menu bar instead. And it will change depending on what element you are currently working on. For instance, I'm clicking on the background. So it's giving me options for my background. If I click on text, it gives me options for text. And if I click on an element, it gives me options for my elements. When you're on any of these elements, whether it's text or images or backgrounds, you can click any of these options here within this floating menu and it will give you a drop down. This is so you can make quick edits to your design using this drop down menu. 
I did notice when it comes to colors, it's only giving you some options. So you can see I've got document colors, my brand, and then I've got a few default colors. The options for adding the gradients and the photo colors, they're not visible in this drop down menu. I'm going to show you how to get to that in a second. Over here under the fonts, you can see I've got my document fonts, my brand fonts, and then a few suggested fonts from Canva. But once again, they don't have everything. So you'll notice on some of these drop down menus, it's only giving you certain things. If you want to see everything, you have to actually expand the menu now. Two ways to do that. One is to click where it says see all, and the other is to click on this double chevron arrow right here that will expand the menu. Watch what happens when I do that. It's on the right side now, instead of being on the left side. We're always used to all of our content being on this left-hand side panel, and now all of the editing options are on this right-hand side panel. This for me was a really big shock, especially considering that I am left-handed and I am used to everything being on the left. Now it's gonna be on the right and it's gonna be a little bit of time to get used to everything being over here. I keep wanting to go to the left side. Now it's gonna always be on the right-hand side. This will happen with any of the edits that you're going to do in Canva, whether you're working on your backgrounds or your elements or your text or your videos. Anytime you want to see any of that additional content, you will need to expand the right hand sidebar in order to get to all of those tools. You'll see here we've got the background. My adjustments are right here. Here's how you can adjust your temperature, tint, and so on. You have the Magic Studio options here. There are some filters. Here are where all of your effects are located. You've got the suggested Canva apps. And then down here, I've got my color options, like my background colors. And here are those gradients I was talking about. My document colors, my default colors, and the gradients are now right here because I'm in this expanded menu now. You also have the um, formats where you can flip your content, you can change the transparency, you can adjust the timing, you can animate just like that, or you can change your position, your arrange and your layers. All of that is now gonna be on the right side of your screen. So yep, it's gonna take a little bit to get used to all that. Something else that's a little bit different is when it comes to the change all command used to be able to click on an object or an element, change that color, and then have it change all of it at one time. That's a little different right now. So I am right here on my background color. I'm gonna click on this option here. And let's say I wanna change the background color to something a little darker. The change all option is not here anymore. In order to get to that, I have to go to the expanded menu. So I'm gonna click on this double arrow. I'm gonna go down to my color. I'm going to pick a different color. Maybe I want to go to this one. And here is that change all option in the bottom right corner. So this is a different location now. If you're used to using this or if you use this all the time, maybe you use templates in Canva and you want to change them all to certain colors. It's going to be in this right hand side menu now. The other thing that's in this right hand side menu that you cannot get to from the floating menu is the option for the get info button. Anytime you're using an element in Canva, you can hover over those three dots. You can see the name, who created it, and then other additional options. You used to be able to click on an element and the get info button would be here at the top. It is no longer in the floating menu. I do hope they put it in there because it's something I use all the time. In order to get to it, you will have to expand that menu scroll all the way to the bottom and here is the get info button right here click on that and that gives you that information the name who created it and those other options right here so once again i hope they put this in the menu bar because it takes extra clicks to get to that side menu and then the other thing that is no longer in this top menu and i'm hoping this is just a glitch when you're working with text You'll see you have your bold underline and italics. You don't have the option for the caps like you used to before, having all uppercase letters. Again, got to click on the side menu and there is that caps option right here. It used to be here at the top. Now it's over here in the side menu. I do hope that they put this back in the floating menu because it 
something I use a lot. And again, you've got to do those extra clicks to get to that side menu. A couple other things that have changed within this interface. If you are over here and you want to go down into the quick options menu, quick actions menu, it's on the left hand side in the bottom corner instead of being over here on the right hand side where it used to be. So in order to get to that and use some of those magic elements, you're going to click over here in this left hand corner instead. And then up at the top, if you click on the menu option in the left hand sidebar to go back to the Canva homepage, when you do it now, it actually expands the left hand side menu of the homepage, leaving your design window intact. I kind of like this feature because it lets you quickly get to anything that might be here or to maybe see something that's in your left hand side menu. And then your design window is still here on the right hand side. And then you can always collapse it by clicking on that X and you're back within your design window. So how do you change that design window back to the black sidebar like you had before? You have to be on the Canva homepage, go over to your name in the top right corner and you want to click on it so you can go to settings. So go click here, go to settings, scroll down until you get to theme and change it to dark. This will change your entire Canva interface to the dark theme. And then when you go back into your design window, watch what happens, go to my elements. And if I go back to those clouds, now I can see them like I had them before. It's much easier to see when you have the lighter objects because my entire interface is now black. One downside to this is that it turns the entire canvas screen black instead of just the sidebar. So I have a black design window. Same with if I use any of the expanded options for the sidebar, all of that is black as well. I personally don't mind this too much. I'm used to working with Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop and those sidebars are dark as well. So for me, this doesn't bother me all that much. But if you like the white and the light feel of the Canva interface, you're going to have to decide whether or not you want to have this white menu or the black menu. You can also just switch back and forth. For instance, if you're working with lighter content, you can work with it in the dark mode. And then when you're ready and you want to go back to the regular mode, just go back to your home screen, go back to settings and change it back to the light background. And then it's back to the way it was. Finally, if you want a quick review of what I showed you today, I made you a handy little guide. You can just go through this guide. It shows you screenshots of what the old Canvas screen used to look like and what the new one looks like. And you can go through these one by one just to kind of help you navigate this new interface a little bit easier so you don't get lost when you're trying to find your content. This was rolled out to only the first 1 million users. So if you don't have it yet, don't panic. It's coming. I suspect that Canva did this so that they could work out any of the bugs or hiccups that might happen. I have already found a couple hiccups with this, especially when working with some of the apps in Canva. Some of them don't quite function properly when you're doing certain things. So I have a feeling that they only upgraded this to a few people to kind of work all that out, but they will be rolling it out to everyone eventually. If this was helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. That's all for this week. I'll see you next time.